For most of human history, when we looked into the night sky, we just saw thousands of tiny pinpricks of light. What these lights were was anyone's guess. And we did guess. We used what powers of logic and deduction we possessed to try to understand what was going on around us. But all too often we relied on revelation, where priests and prophets revealed to us the will of the gods, and we called it knowledge. The creation story in the book of Genesis says that God created the stars also. It says that he placed them in the firmament of the heaven. From the human perspective, the universe wasn't very large at all. God created the earth and surrounded this crown jewel with wonders, stuck fast in the sky, and that worldview sufficed for primitive people who had no way to see beyond the mountains. There are apocryphal passages in the Bible that declare that in the end times, the stars will fall to earth from their supposedly fixed positions in the sky, and that seemed reasonable at the time. It took nearly 1600 years for us to know any different. At the end of a thousand years of darkness, using scientific measurements, Tycho Brahe in 1573 discovered that stars were not fixed in the sky. They lacked the parallax necessary to be that close to Earth. All of a sudden, we had a glimpse of the true scale of the universe. But the Earth was still the center of creation, just as the scriptures said, until the founder of modern science looked through a telescope, one of the very first scientific instruments to extend our sense perception beyond its natural limitations, and saw the moons of Jupiter in their orbits. That single observation was sufficient to prove that the Earth was not the center of the universe. And even more shocking than that, the Earth was not the only planet, for now we knew that some of those pinpricks were worlds orbiting our star. And I'm not sure when it happened, but around this time humanity realized that we had found a way to overcome the limits of our senses and imaginations, a way to understand the universe, our world, and ourselves, a way that unchained us from superstition and myth and finally gave us the answers we were searching for. And that way, that new idea, we called science. And this was the tool we had been missing, the one without which our civilization could not be built. Better tools meant better information, and better information in turn meant better tools. Astrology gave way to astronomy, and we saw the heavens for what they truly are. Propitiation to the gods gave way to medicine, and we discovered real cures and treatments. Alchemy gave way to chemistry, Electricity propelled us out of the darkness of our ignorance. We discovered microbes, looked into our own bodies, split the atom, harnessed the invisible power of the electromagnetic spectrum, watched the birth and death of stars, uncovered the secrets of the universe, decoded the very fabric of life, even venturing off our own planet. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And though we had given countless millennia to sacrifice and obedience and bloodshed in their name, the gods never revealed these things to us. Many now attempt to hijack science and attribute it to their deity, but why did the deity wait? Why were these things not in the holy texts? For a hundred thousand years Homo sapiens was born, usually, well, not usually, but very often dying in the process or killing its mother in the process. A life expectancy probably not much more than 20-25 years. <laughs> dying probably of the teeth uh, after that, very agonizingly, near to the brain as they are, um, or of hunger, or of microorganisms that they didn't know existed. According to the Christian faith, heaven watches this with folded arms, with folded arms, with folded arms, with folded arms. And there are still those who try to tell us that science does not provide the answers and seek to drag us back all the while benefiting from and using the tools of science to spread their message. But we have found the way forward, and though sometimes the answers we find are frightening, it's too late. We know from whence we came, and we know the way ahead. That I wasn't going to go back into the cave. Because what are these people telling you? You need my help. Cross my palm with silver. I'll tell you the future. I'll heal you. I'll do these various things for you. That's what they're telling you. You're an inferior person. They're asking you to go back into the caves that our ancestors have said to have come from. But we've been to the moon. The hell with the caves, we've been to the moon. There is an ancient myth that the gods forbade us from building a tower to heaven. Well, we pushed aside the priests and built it and saw what they didn't want us to see. We saw that we had been lied to all along. We saw something so powerful that it could sweep aside the ancient myths and superstitions. One glance at the universe as it really is. The stars are not in the sky. They cannot fall to earth. 
The true nature of revealed knowledge is myth, from a time when man did not understand anything about the universe. It was science that brought us out of the darkness, that showed us what we needed to know, that opened our eyes to reality, that gave us everything the gods denied us.